ഗായ്സ് വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടു എ ലിറ്റിൽ ബിറ്റ് ഓഫ് ഫേഴ്സ് ആൻഡ് വെൽക്കം ടു മധുരൈ നല്ല നട്ടപ്പുരി വെയിലത്ത് ഞങ്ങളൊരു സവാരി പോവാണ് എറൗണ്ട് ദ ടെമ്പിൾ ആൻഡ് വി ആർ ഓൾസോ ഗോയിങ് ടു വിസിറ്റ് തിരുമല നായക്കർ പാലസ് ഇൻ മധുരൈ ഇന്ന് ഞങ്ങളൊരു സൈക്കിൾ റിക്ഷയാണ് വാടകയ്ക്ക് എടുത്തത് ടു ഗോ അറൌണ്ട് ദ സിറ്റി മീറ്റ് ദ ടു ബ്രദേഴ്സ് അഴകപ്പൻ ആൻഡ് മാരിയപ്പൻ Welcome to the majestic, iconic and magnificent Thirumalanayak Palace in Madurai. We are here to see the light and sound show in the palace. We are here to see the light and sound show in the palace. We are here to see the light and sound show in the morning glory. This is a 17th century palace built in 1636 AD by King Thirumalai Nayak. the king of madurai's nayak dynasty who ruled madurai from 1623 to 59 king tirumala nayak wanted to create a royal masterpiece by building this palace and it is believed that he hired an italian architect to do so the palace is a mix of dravidian islamic and italian style of architecture that makes it unique once you enter the palace you will be simply blown by the majesty of the central courtyard the first thing that catches your attraction here are these pillars 82 feet high and 19 feet wide and a total of some 250 pillars with an arch between every two pillars the corridors here are built on elevated platforms it said that processions were held especially during the navratri times and the royal family members watched them from the galleries ude kannalane paattu shoot cheda location aanu the iconic bombay cinema shoot cheda aa paattinte location the original palace was divided into two sections namely swarga vilasa and ranga vilasa they include the residence of the royals gardens theaters shrines armory ponds and fountains this palace was constructed when the nayak dynasty shifted their capital from trichy to madurai and the construction of this palace marked the beginning of a new era during the rule of the nayaks it said that the palace was built in those days using bricks stucco and egg whites when it was built this palace was four times bigger than what you can see today many movies have been shot here the most remarkable ones are the blockbuster movies bombay and guru both directed by maniratnam another striking feature of this palace is this courtyard which is 40000 square feet of space nayak dynasty had over 70 provinces under them and their representatives filled the palace halls every day that's why they had to ensure that the space was never a constraint so this is one of the largest audience hall built in those times now we are walking into the space covered by an octagonal dome in the ceiling The throne of the king is placed under a huge octagonal dome of 60 to 70 feet high. The grandson of Tirumalai Nayak demolished this palace and removed many of the jewels. when he shifted his dynasty to trichy in the later years the british used to store ammunition here it also served as a judicial court and a paper mill 
thanks to the efforts of the governor of Madras, Lord Napier, who took an initiative to renovate this palace. After independence, this became a national monument and now it is under the control of Tamil Nadu Archaeological Department. There is a light and sound show every evening in both English and Tamil languages for about 30 minutes and it's a tribute to the King Pirumala Nayak. The show highlights important events in the King's life and also talks about his love for art, victories over his enemies and devotion to the goddess Meenakshi. During this show, strategically placed lights lit up the complete palace and it's followed by an audiovisual tour of the rich culture and history of the Nayak Empire. For history lovers and for those with a taste for rich culture, this is a must visit in Madurai. Till we meet again, it's bye from a little bit of us and bye from Madurai.